one of the things you can do for an event like this, when you have um, a lot of people, especially for something like a camp, is you can also split people up into subgroups for, um, for different things. Could be for the entire um, event, could be for just different sections of the event, and you can do that through something called assignments. So let's head over to the assignments tab, and we'll see how that works. So again, these are different ways where we want to group people for different parts of this overall event, and it makes it really easy for us to split people up like this. Um, so we've got a few different ways this is happening. We've got some cabins where we're splitting people um, into different groups for that. We've got study groups um, so that they have those that they're um, just a part of for the entire weekend for this camp. And then we've got transportation. What car are, are these people gonna be riding in? So let's take a look at that one, transportation. I'm going to grab a drink of water again. So a couple of things you can see on the sidebar, we've got all of our options. So we've got all our cars added here. We've got six vehicles that are going and we can see how many spots are available in all those. And then we've also got on the right, this whole list of everyone who has signed up at this point. So let's see what it looks like to get these people assigned to the different vehicles. So you can just go through, under this area right here, you can click and you can just manually assign anybody you want. 25 people, that wouldn't be that bad. We could just go through and do that. Um, but if you've got a lot of people, if you've got a lot of different um, assignment areas, that's gonna be a lot of work. So we've got a tool that can help you out. Over here under this actions button, you can auto assign. And that will um, take into account a few different things and split people up um, into just the right places. So we're gonna do that, but we're not gonna do it quite yet because we've got our counselors who are driving the cars and we wanna make sure that they are in their cars. And then after that, we don't really care who, who's in which one. So let's go through and manually assign the counselors. So Allie, we'll click her and we'll put her in her SUV. That makes sense, save that. Beth. We'll put her in her car. Don, we'll put him in his Jeep. Let's see, Lauren. Reagan definitely doesn't want anybody touching his Subaru, so we'll make sure he's in there, that he's got the wheel of that one. And William, we'll uh, stick him in his truck. So, manually assigned them and so now we just are going to auto assign the others. So let's go to actions and let's do auto assign. And now this big pop-up, make sure that you really wanna do this. Um, and it gives you two options for how you wanna do it. So um, waterfall, if you can picture a waterfall going down into a pool, it fills up the first one. And then once that first one is full, it moves on to the next one. Or balanced, it just goes, one in this one, one in this one, one in this one, keeps them all at an even level. So for this one, we don't want any empty cars, anything like that, so we'll just hit balanced and it'll split them up that way. And there you go. You can scroll down and see that everyone is now assigned to one of the vehicles.